I realize some of you watching these videos are not in my class at Newmont University, which is fine. I'm sorry that they, these videos jump around a little bit, uh, but they do follow. Uh, um, there is a method to the madness uh, for those students who are taking the C++ CSC course at Newmont University. So anyway, I just want to give some of you, I notice I'm getting a few subscribers to this, and I uh, just want to make that clear. Okay talking about uh, instantiating or newing, I guess, uh, putting objects out on the heap. Much like Java and C Sharp, but there are some differences. Uh, for example, well, let's just, let's just start out with something simple. If I say int i gets 5, well, i will be stored on the stack. Um, I can also say new int, uh, and then pass 5 there. And since I called new here, new now puts that int on the heap memory. And, and really all memory is all the same, it's just divided up into different sections. And the new, uh, the heap part is nice because it's it's RAM we know we need, we don't know how much we will need until the program's actually executing. So that's why it's, it's called dynamic memory, it, it can be used and uh, let go as often as we want. And the way we uh, grab a piece of that memory is by using new. Well, you'll see I have a red squiggly here, and it's complaining because because I new returns an address. This whole expression here, new int, it returns an address. And so I need to store that address in something capable of storing an address, it's specifically an address to an integer. So if you recall from a previous video, the way to do that is to say int pointer. I is now a pointer to an int that will be stored on the heap. Now it's kind of dumb to make it int on the heap like this. Really, we should keep it on the stack. So this is kind of a contrived example, but just bear with me. So now I can say, okay, well, let's um, let's print i's value and uh, run it. Build, build, and and we get five there. And then just as normal, I can say, hey, star i gets eight. I'm going to uh, out in that RAM on the heap, I want to stuff 8 out there instead. And then um, let's just uh, print out what i is pointing to. Again, remember this asterisk here used in this context says dereference i. Literally, where is i pointing to? Go to that memory location, give me the value. So run it. And we see that our 5 was changed to an 8. So so that's that's creating memory out on the heap. That's that's the basics. Now, one difference between C++ and uh, or an unmanaged C++, there is a managed version for uh, .NET users, but for unmanaged C++, uh, there's a difference between that and Java C Sharp kind of way. We're used to the garbage collector coming around and kind of picking up after us, as long as we uh, let go of our, our uh, memory accordingly. But in C++, it's up to us as a programmer to be very explicit and say, when we're done with that RAM, we need to tell the operating system we're done with that RAM. And the way you do that is by saying delete. So let's say delete i. And now uh, that says, well, basically, whatever i is pointing to, um, go free that up. It's I, I no longer need it. So after this point, i is no good. I, I, I It's undefined behavior if I say, hey, let's print out i's value. I mean, I may, I may get lucky, I may not. Let's see what happens. Let's run this and, and uh, oh, well, you see it, i's, whatever, I don't, who knows? It's undefined, okay? Because I deleted that memory, I said, I gave it back to the operating system, so. Now, integers, that's, integers are kind of trivial. Let's do something a little more sophisticated. I'm going to make a class person here, and uh, let's do uh, int age, and just to make the video go faster, I'm going to make it all public. Int age, and Oh, char, gender, whatever. We'll have two data members there. So person p, then remember the syntax, we'll put p on the stack. Um, but if I want to put one out on the heap, I'll take some heap room up. I say new person. In fact, I don't even need to say parentheses if I don't want to. Uh, but now p's got to be a pointer. So person pointer uh, gets new person. So now I can say p. Now here's a new operator that I haven't shown you. And this operator is only good for pointers. But well, let me, before I do that, let me say I want to assign age a value here. So I can say, okay, well, star age dot, or not age, sorry, star p dot age gets 20. And I can see out uh, star p, 
star p dot age. But this, uh, I guess this uh, syntax here is a little bit clunky having to do the Oh, it doesn't build. Why doesn't it build? Person followed by void is legal. Did I forget it? Oh. Where? I don't see it. I don't see it. I have an error. I don't see it. Let's see. Oh, duh. <laughs> I forgot my semicolon. <laughs> Remember, semicolons are required here in C++. Anyway, long story why, but we'll just leave that alone. Okay, run it. Ah, 20. Okay. So this syntax, the star p dot age, a little clunky. So there's actually a cleaner way of doing it. Remember, p is a pointer. And so I, I kind of like the syntax. I'm saying, hey, p, whatever you're pointing to, uh, let's say age, give me the age. Um, let's, let's assign that 30. And then down here, um, I can either say c out uh, star p dot age or... I can just reuse this arrow-like syntax, which dereferences and returns a value, um, p age as well. So either syntax is fine. More common, you'll see in this scenario, you'll see this arrow-like thing. Run it, build started, build succeeded. Good, I have two 30s. Now, here, notice I newed up my person instance. Um, if person had a constructor, I'd have to put parentheses here and pass values in. But but I, I, I created one on the heap, but then I, I never freed it. So I have to say delete P to say operating system. I'm done with four bytes here, one byte here. And so however many bytes, five uh, bytes of, of memory. Um, if I don't do that, one one common mistake, and this is where you'll hear about memory leaks, if we say P gets, let's, let's give it a new person instead. Well, remember, new is going to go out and grab some more RAM, a different chunk of RAM than this previous person here, and then new returns the address, which I assigned to P. Well, remember, I newed up this instance out on the heap, but I didn't delete it. And unlike Java and C Sharp, the garbage collector doesn't come around and clean up after me. It's just gone. It's, 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 it's there taking up space and memory, but I have no way of getting back to it to say, hey, free this up. So if I make this mistake a lot, and you will, believe me, you will in your whole career in C Sharp, you will make a loop that new something up and not delete it properly, and then all of a sudden your memory just gets eaten up, and you're like, oh, I'm getting these out of memory exceptions. What's, what's going on? Or errors, and, and uh, it's because you didn't delete. You didn't clean up after yourself. And there's a way to detect those and with profiling and things like that, which we'll see later. But just remember, when you do something up, you definitely need to clean it up as well. So before I assign uh, P to a new person here, I should delete P. And then I, at, at that point, I can say, well, P gets a new person. But then I have to clean up after myself as well again. Technically, since we're in main and the program will close at the end of this curly brace, all memory is reclaimed when the program closes. But, but definitely do not rely on that behavior.